while I, I totally get it that, you know, team has been picked to win the World Cup, but, you know, a packed crowd, billion people watching, two down, Tendulkar Sehwag out, under pressure. What was your mindset like? I mean, I've also watched your career very closely. You're younger to me. But just explain to my viewers a little bit more the mindset when you played that innings in a huge final. Look, didn't bother me one bit to be honest. And I'm not going to probably sound arrogant here, but it didn't bother me one bit that what, what was happening at the other end. Because all I was thinking about winning the contest and that particular contest. And if I had to be in that mindset, I had to win each and every contest. So it really didn't matter to me what was happening, where the game was going. Because my only purpose was when I when I was facing the bowler, I had to win that particular contest and look to score runs each and of each and every delivery. As simple as it can get. Because when in these situations, I think you've got to take the occasion out of the contest. Because if the occasion gets probably uh, better of you, obviously you'll forget thinking about the contest. You'll start thinking of, about the occasion. And for me, I think to break it down to probably the most important thing was probably facing that one particular delivery at each point of time and trying to win that particular delivery and try to score maximum runs of that particular delivery. Yes, uh, people will talk about it. People have asked me this question that what exactly was I thinking when we lost Sachin and Sehwag. And I honestly want to tell you this, that I had, I was not thinking anything. And in fact, I did not think anything uh, even when Virat got out, because my job was to probably, when I was facing the next ball, when I was on strike, I had to win that particular ball and try and score the maximum of that ball. Until the time I was there, I had that belief that we are going to win the World Cup. A World Cup final on home soil. We've not won a World Cup for 28 years. Perhaps our best opportunity. Uh, 2011 was such a sad story. We got knocked out. 2011 was massive. How did Gautam Gambhir prepare for a final like this? What are the lessons? See, this question was asked to me after 2007 T20 World Cup as well. That was my first kind of any World Cup. Though I will, obviously I don't rate T20 World Cup as big as probably 2011. I've given you that answer. Uh, why? Because I was grown up watching 50 overs. See, I have never ever prepared for any game differently. I have never have never put any amount of any pressure on myself thinking about that this is a make or break game. The only time I literally have put my uh, put pressure on myself was against New Zealand in 2017-20 World Cup because my first kind of any World Cup, I missed every World Cup possible. I missed the under-14 World Cup when I was the highest run getter. I missed the under-19 World Cup when I was the highest run getter in India. I I still believe that I should have been part of the 2007-50 over World Cup, which absolutely I deserved. I missed out on that as well. So my first kind of World Cup in 2017-20 I got a duck. First game got washed out. First, my first debut game against Pakistan got a duck. Second game, game against New Zealand. Probably that was the only time in my career I thought that it's make or break. And I actually promised myself that I, I remember we were staying in Sandon Sun in Johannesburg. And uh, when I was leaving my room before uh, for the game, I promised myself that whatever happens today, probably this could be the last game I could play. Uh, and my World Cup dream could be over because I know that probably if I wouldn't have scored runs, there were other players who were waiting in the wings. They might get an opportunity, uh, but I promise that it, whatever I'm going to do to them, I'm going to do it on my own terms. And I remember getting a 50 of 19 or 20 balls. And then from there on, I think things changed. So that's the only time I thought it was make or break. Otherwise, I have never, ever thought that because as I mentioned, occasions have never mattered to me. Whenever I've picked up a bat, whether it's for my club, whether it's for my state, whether it's for my franchise, whether it's for my nation, I've always been committed and obviously wanted to score runs and probably win a game of cricket for my team so that when I come back in the dressing room, it has to be a happier dressing room. And more importantly, when I come back home and when I go back in my room, I'm a very content man.